Devin says thoughts on the framed. Let's look at it. There's one framed bike that I, uh, it's very cheap. That's what it is. Um, here, I'll pull it up on the screen. Hey, uh, hey, what's up, Richard? Anyway, I'm go I'll pull it up on the screen. We can talk about it for just a minute, but, uh, there's one framed bike on the app and it actually scored really highly. I think it's, I don't know. I want to say they're in the same category as like mafia and elite and things like that. Like the value for the bike is pretty good, but what does the company actually do for the sport you know if you want to just buy a bike and save money then go crazy um, but if you care about bmx and you want to support bmx there's some better options but but um i don't know that for sure with framed i have no idea who owns them i don't know anything about them but let me let me pull it up on the screen we'll look at it okay hello Okay, there we go. Turn this now, so I'm in this little screen. Um, okay, Framed Attack Pro BMX bike on the house.com. Look at this, only $250, 250. Probably 250 for the black and then yeah, 280 for the oil slick. So first thing we see here, it's got a very low standover, very low standover. The headset here, this is unsealed. This is a pressed headset. It's not, not integrated. It's not the best uh, because of that. This hollow stem is cool. I promise it's going to break pretty quickly. Big chunky three piece cranks. Um, okay. So really first things first, all we, all that we really see that's bad is the headset and they probably have double wall rims on here because that's, that's a thing now. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> that's so crazy to me. We've got double wall rims on, but we've got an unsealed hub. Unsealed. Unsealed bottom bracket. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, anyway, um, 25.8 pounds. That's pretty light. This is a super, super, super long chain stay. It's going to feel ridiculous uh, compared to other brands. Like, for example, we most of We The People's Complete Bikes are 12.75. Colt has the longest that I've like really seen and it's 13.6. So this is even longer than that. Kinks are about 13.2. Uh, so this is a really long chain stay. The back end's just, it's going to be hard to pull up for manuals because I, I, I don't know. So this is like, let's say this is the length of your chain stay, right? And this is a 12.5 or 12.75, it's a lot easier to leverage this and pull it up. If this is the length of your chain stay, look at this, way longer, right? It's gonna be a lot harder to leverage and to pull it up. Um, and that's kind of what's going on here with the framed 13.75 inch chain stay. And quality wise, it's chromoly front triangle, and I'd be iffy about the chromoly, but um, it says the forks are full chromoly. And we'll assume that that's right and that's good. Bars? Bars. Where are bars? Am I missing bars? Do you guys see bars on here? Or am I tripping? Anyway, we don't know what the bars are. They're mystery. Mystery bars. A steel sprocket is pretty good because a lot of times you get a cheap aluminum sprocket and they bend pretty easily. Uh, so a steel sprocket, that's cool. I have, I, I just don't understand. Unsealed hubs, but double wall rims. They're pin double wall rims, but that's pretty much the standard for double wall rims on a complete bike. And yeah, so honestly for 250 bucks, it's it's not that bad. I don't know. Let me figure out how to how to word this. Frames usually step in qualities, right? So an entry level frame is full high tensile steel with an unsealed headset, unsealed bottom bracket, right? Just like this one. And then you step up to some chromoly and you usually get an integrated headset and you get a sealed bottom bracket. And then you step up to full chromoly and you get, you know, those things also, but you just get higher quality chromoly. And then you step up to, to pro level chromoly, you know, you know what I mean? And it's like what they did here is they skipped some of the advancements and left the unsealed stuff. Um, but then said, oh, let's throw a couple pieces of chromoly tubing in here. Yeah. Uh, it's like they really went cheap in some areas, but then beefed up other areas to make it a 500. Now for $500, this is absolutely stupid. Bonkers, right? That is a bonkers price. 250, okay. You know, it's not a ripoff for 250. For 500, crazy. That Because again, Kink Whip's 500. Colt Control's 500. You can get a much better bike for 500. But, um, but, but at 250, it's not that bad. I'd still, I don't know, over time you're going to be upgrading it. And it's like, it's harder to upgrade. It's unsealed, right? So you're, you've got to just be more thoughtful about that. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's going to be harder to upgrade. It's not, let's say you get the Kink Gap and you want to upgrade it you have more core quality there, right? You have sealed parts, you have some aftermarket parts. So then upgrading it just becomes easier. And it's not like my uncle always told me when I had this junky car and I put subs in it, he's all, it's like putting chrome rims on a, <laughs> on a garbage truck. And you don't want to be doing that on this bike, right? You don't want like 
it's a, it's a low quality bike. So putting a bunch of upgrades on it is kind of useless uh, because it's not a strong base quality. I hope that helped. We're gonna unshare this. Anyway, that is the framed attack pro BMX bike.